Hello, today I'm playing a prologue of A Space for the Unbound, a slice of life surreal adventure game about the relationship between a young girl and a young boy with supernatural powers. The game is being developed by Emoji Ken and is expected to release in 2022. So without further ado, let's start the prologue. Oh, princess, the world doesn't deserve you. <laughs> I know. So, what do you think, Mr. Co-Writer? <laughs> they are writing a story? It was great. Your story was so touching, and I can't wait to listen to the rest of it. The world, the adventure, and the characters, I love them all. But the princess, I love her the most. Oh, phew. I'm glad you liked it. I was kind of worried and not really confident about it at all. First, I was going to make the princess turn into a comet when she passed away. And then she would just destroy the planet and devour all, all the creatures that stole her miracles. But that will be a brutal way to end the story. So I decided to scrap that. <laughs> it would be brutal, yes. Yeah, I think that's too violent and doesn't fit you at all. By the way, where did you get the idea for the comment? Well, it was last night. I was really upset and worried. And I looked outside the window for inspiration, and suddenly, I saw a beautiful comet flash across the sky. Oh jeez, I wish I was awake last night. But still, I can't believe it ends like this. What a sad fate for the South Star Princess. Do you want to hear the final chapter? Final chapter? There's more of it? Yes, it'll be more like an epilogue, but we can think of it as a final chapter. I want to tell a story about the cat's final adventure. The cat will... Mm, the yellow flower, they are about to... Mm, weird. What's wrong? All of a sudden, I can't think of anything. My mind's gone blank. It was on the tip of my tongue. Hey, why don't we try to get out and get some fresh air? Maybe I'll help you clear your thoughts. Pixel art is gorgeous. Really like the colors of it. I guess I can talk with her. Oh. 
Like you said, let's go outside and get some fresh air. Oh, I can run as well. How about now? Feeling any better? I don't know. What happened? Do you have a writer's block? I don't know. It feels like there's something dark and scary. Making me too afraid to continue and find out what kind of story I want to tell. I think that's definitely writer's block. Hey, maybe it's time to use the magic red book. Ooh, a magic red book. The magic red what? <laughs> the magic red book. Have you forgotten about it? The book which contains the spell to dive into our deepest heart and get rid of the storm oil. Oh, that red book. Yeah, we, we used it now and again. Where is the book? I think I forgot where I put it. I'm sorry. I'm so careless. Hey, no worries. I'll help you look for the magic red book. Hey, maybe I put it somewhere around here. Can you look for something red? Okay, I'm on it. So we need to look for the, the magic red, red book. There's a paper here. Double tap directional key to run. Oh, okay. I went back inside. Maybe it's inside the book. I'm always going inside because I think there's more to go on the left side. Oh, there's a red book over there. I found the red book. This must be the magic red book. That was fair easy. Let's go back to her. Hey, is this what you're looking for? The magic red book? You found it. Go on then, try to use the book. But I'm afraid of using it by myself. Oh, you... Can you help me? Dear magical Mr. Co-Writer. Please, 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 please. Whoa, calm down. Okay, I'll help. Just tell me how to use it. I don't remember. When you see it, you just have to open the book. See what? You'll see a dancing flower above someone's head. Dancing flower, huh? Yeah, believe me, that's the power of the magic red book. And then you just open it. Is that it? No dancing or chanting required? Yes, it is. Hurry up and just try it already. Alright. And to find the final chapter that I wanted to tell. That's the... That's the plant, the flower. Are we inside our mind?
I'm afraid to find out what lies beneath. What if it turns out bad? Everyone will think I'm a weirdo. Interesting. I've never finished anything before. Will I ever be able to finish it? There is a door right here. These are our thoughts. It was bright and warm, the glowing south star princess turned into starless. Was scattered into the sky above. I had an idea, it might be useful. This story. Should I tell this story? Should I finish it? Whoa, I just realized how far we've walked. <laughs> yeah, amazing, isn't it? It is. It feels like I'm walking in outer space. Kind of like an uh, out-body experience. You know what? We should come up with a cool name for when you use a magic red book. I think space dive sounds cool. What do you think? Space dive? Mm, that sounds cool. <laughs> and informative. Yeah, you're diving into the space of my heart, so... Space dive. And does this space dive ritual actually help? Yes, I finally decided what the final chapter will be. Oh, wow. Cool. For real? Yes, it's the big blue star. Uh, the big blue star? Yes, the big blue star. It's called a... When the South Princess died, she wished to return there, to the place where she belongs. And the cat will be the one to escort her back? Exactly! Oh wow, that sounds like it'll be an exciting adventure to draw and write. Mr. Co-Writer inside his, as always, extremely helpful. Nah, don't mention it. You're the one who came up with the Star Princess story in the first place. Well, I had to. This is our story. We made it together, right? Well, if you say so. So then... Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! To the final chapter! Yes, the final chapter. Is there anything else we need to finish the story? Yeah, all we need to do is build a spaceship. Well, that sounds easy. Whoa, a spaceship. Yes, the cat will export a yellow flower to the big blue star with the spaceship. And the good news is, I've already built a ship by myself. <laughs> what? When did you? Can I see it? Where is it? I've been working on it for the last three weeks, right after school. 
it was supposed to be a surprise for you. And of course, I built it in my super secret workshop across the river, so you won't find it. Crossing the river by yourself? That's so dangerous. Oh, don't worry about it. I've been back and forth loads of times. And look, I'm still here, Aaron Guy. Anyway, I need something important to finish the ship. Something with magical power to propel it through space. And that thing is... Of course, the Star Prince's magic wand. And I left it at home. Oh, well, that sucks. Should we go and pick it up? No, I can't go there right now. My house is no good for now. My father is... Hey, don't worry about it. The magic wand is in your room, right? I'll go get it. That really okay? I mean, you've done so much already. And if someone sees you, they might think you're breaking in. No worries, I'm stealthy like a cat, you know? Sorry for making you do this. Seriously, don't worry about it. I'll help as much as I can. But you have to promise me you won't cross the river by yourself. We started this together, and we'll finish it together, okay? Yeah, you're right. I promise. I'll be waiting for you. You remember where my bedroom is? My room is on the second floor and the magic wand is somewhere on my table. Oh, and one more thing. If you get lost, my cat Busk will always know where to go. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Copy that. Good luck, I'll be waiting for you here. You should wait for me at the base camp, it's quite dangerous to wander around here. I guess you're right, but the hair is so nice and fresh here. Might give me some inspiration for the final chapter. Alright, just be quick, okay? Okay. Oh, one last thing. You say that already, you know? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. No, that's not it. I want to say something else. What's up? Thank you for everything. You're the best co-writer I've ever had. Oh, no need to be so melodramatic about it. I'll be back soon. So this is probably the way for the secret base. <laughs> this one. So gloomy. So we're back at the at the train. Another cat. Okay, I can pet every cat in the game, I believe. <laughs> hey, Mister. Hey, slow down, dude. The traffic's bad enough as it is. 
You want me to eat your fancy car? Delicious simul. I wonder what's what's simul. Come a simul, come a simul. Maybe I should change your name to something more attention grabbing. I'll have a spoonful of that hot sauce. <laughs> Just one. Give me two spoons. I like it spicy. But that's tomato ketchup. It looks like hot sauce. That still counts, right? <laughs> Behold the great comet of doom. Oh, wandering soul, have you seen last night's news? The Comet of Doom has finally come. Wonder if it is the same comet that the girl saw? Don't you want salvation, my dear child? For only one million rupees, you can own this spirit infused gemstone made from meteorite. Gemstone is the only talisman that will save you from the cataclysm. What? You don't believe me? How dare you? The gemstone was crafted by hmm, uh, the famous oracle, Jayabaya himself. What? No money? Well, I guess it is your destiny to be cursed. Kids these days are just the worst. Back in my day, we have to do whatever our parents told us to do. Sup, dude? What do you think? I'm sorry? Scarongo Beats, it's a mixtape I recorded myself. What do you think? Yeah, cool, totally awesome. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I know, right? Not everyone, not everybody appreciates Kieran Gong, especially these days. It's an old music genre brought over by the colonials and then perfected by our locals. It's soothing, you know, a perfect companion for people looking to relax and escape the world for a while. Hey, you know what? You can take my demo tape. It's a gift. Oh, no, you don't You don't have to. Please, dude. It's such a rare occasion meeting a fellow Kurokong music fan, you know? Besides, I can always make another mixtape whenever I want to. Thank you very much, I guess. I got a Kerongon cassette tape. I don't really understand Kerokon music though. There's a sign on this ladder. The ladder is the propriety of civil defense officer. Don't touch. Okay. Today's news, another interstellar comet has been sighted of flying over the city. It's the third comet to be seen this week. Neither the government nor the National Space Agency have released any official statements regarding these peculiar events. Like the world's gonna end soon, hmm? Lucky me, I'm already married. Can I give her the cassette? Nothing happens, okay.
Her house should be around this block. Oh, somebody's there. Hello, Miss... Mrs. Dewey. Are you going to meeting too? Why don't we all walk together? Of course. Oh, you're not bringing your daughter with you? No. What's the matter? Is there a problem? My daughter, lately she's been afraid of going to school. My husband... Well, things are going well with his boss. He's been a little stressed over... Well, over the money, we've had to borrow to get Nirmala into school, and... And he's taking it all out on Nirmala. Is that the little girl? Nirmala? Is she... her mother? Today she locked herself in the room and refused to talk with us. God, I really don't know what to do. Oh my, and I'm sorry to hear that. Why has she been scared of going to school? I don't know yet. I want to talk to them about all of this, but I really don't know what to say. Well, why don't we go to the meeting a little early, and we can talk about this on the way. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. Thank you. Don't worry, you can share your problems with me. That's what neighbors are for, right? Now's my chance. I think it was her mother. Nirmala. That's her name. Gate is locked. But her father is likely inside. Really dangerous to sneak through the front door. Maybe it would be easier if I pretend I was here to visit her. But I can't risk letting her father know that she sneaked out of the house. Besides, he'd think I was a creepy high school student stalking an underage kid. This is all way too risky, but I have to get that magic wand for her. What should I do now? Hey, how long have you been up there? Oh yeah, that window on the second floor must lead directly to her room. Now, how am I supposed to reach the second floor? Maybe an emergency ladder on the side? Or just climb? I'd be able to reach the second floor if I could walk across this wall. But the wall itself is too high for me to reach. If only there was something I could climb or stand on. The letter that we saw before? I think I could get it. What does it say here? The road is closed due to resident activities. Let's go get the letter from before. Busy. I'm always so busy. Exactly what an exemplary low paid civil defense officer should be. Hey, kid, what are you doing with my letter? I'm just amazed by your letter, sir. Oh, this ladder looks really strong <laughs> and chrome. Have you been smoking something funny, kid? I hope you don't cause me any trouble, kid. Nobody touches my ladder. Can't you see that I'm already busy enough? I wish I could get some sleep, though. 
Damn, I could definitely use that ladder to get to Jim Paolo's room. That's Nirmala, and that was Nirmala's mother. Oh, the magic book. Let's use it. Space dive. There's a phone ringing. Whoa, that flower is blooming. I wonder what will happen if I made all those flowers bloom. So we need to make all those flowers bloom. So sleepy. Staying awake to see the combo last night really took it out of me. I've been staying awake by just staying busy, but now all I want is to sleep forever. But I can't fall asleep just yet. Not without shutting out that loud ringing sound. Not without turning off those damn bright lights. And of course, not without listening to my favorite Karangong music to distress. All I want is to be asleep. So let's turn off the lights. Help him sleep. Alarm clock. Can't turn it off. What a strange clock. Is there something else to use on the clock? Let's put the cassettes. <laughs> should I you should I restore to violence? We're gonna beat up the alarm clock. <laughs> That's so harsh. No. <laughs> and it's full bloom. This feels good. I'm going to close my eyes just for a minute. It can't hurt, right? <laughs> he fell asleep right away. Oh, he's fast asleep alright. Thanks to this magic red book, I guess. He won't mind if I borrow the ladder then, will he? Time to pick up the magic wand. Let's go get the ladder. Well, <laughs> does it fit my pocket? Go back to Nirmala's house. Go up. There it is, the Star Princess Magic One. I still can't believe she managed to come up with all these wonderful things. Nirmala, what a precious, talented kid. Got the magic one. Open the door. You ungrateful waste of space. She's talking to Nirmala, at least he thinks. How dare you lock this door? You're escaping school again, aren't you? Open the freaking door! You're still freaking dawdling and writing that stupid nonsense, aren't you? 
Have you got any idea how much money I have to borrow just to get you to a decent school? And this is how you repay me, you spoiled little brat. Oh snap, things are getting tense around here. I better get out of here before your father smashes the door open. A rebellious child and an idiot wife. Oh, aren't I lucky to have a family like this. Should we leave the ladder here? I wonder what we could use the magic one for. Rain is getting heavier. I have a bad feeling about this. I hope she's reached the base camp by now. Big storm coming. Everyone already went home. Oh, is this this way? Waiting for me at the base camp. I should go there. Oh, is the base camp the train? I thought it was on the other side of the river. She's not here, though. Where is she? She hasn't got here yet. Help! Oh, she's in trouble. Someone, anyone, help! Help somebody! That voice, don't tell me. Mister, help, help me. I can't swim. She's drowning? Nirmala. Help me, I can't swim. Yeah, I can't swim either. Hang on, I have to find something to reach her. Just come here quick, please. I don't think I can hold on much longer. And I'm scared. Uh, yeah, use the magic wand. Here, try to grab the wand. She fell. Oh, the magic one fell. Sorry, I was straddled by the thunder. Don't worry, I will get you out from here. Hold on. Alright, try to grab the book. The book is too short, it's not gonna work. Easy, easy. Just a little bit. Crack. Oh no. Atma. We'll make it together.
Is it gone? So sad. What was his name? Hatma? I really die? There's no way for us to save him. That was a fun little little prologue. And it's so beautiful, the heart sad. Atma. Wake up, you lazy bum. Raya. What the hell was this just dreaming about? Was it all just a dream? Any questions to be answered? Oh, that's the comment that they were talking about. And who was Raya? Maybe another girl from is cool I want to know what happens next. Guess I have to wait. So that's it for the prologue. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. This was Super Neat Games and I hope to see you again soon.